Let's be real, 80% of people struggle to stick to their budgets. Are you one of them? It's easy to feel overwhelmed by finances, but what if I told you it doesn't have to be that way? What if you could create a plan so solid, so secure it felt, well, bulletproof? In this video, we'll walk you through seven simple steps to create a bulletproof budget that will help you not only manage your money, but thrive financially. We're talking about taking complete control of your income, expenses, and savings to build a financial fortress that can withstand anything life throws your way. No more stressing about bills, no more feeling financially insecure. We're going to break down each step, providing you with actionable tips and strategies that you can implement immediately. Get ready to transform your finances and achieve true financial freedom. The first step to building a bulletproof budget is knowing exactly how much money you have coming in and where it's all going. Think of it like building a house. You wouldn't start construction without a blueprint, right? Start by listing all your income sources, salary, side hustles, rental income, dividends, everything. Get it all down to the penny. This is your financial foundation. Next, track every single expense. Use a budgeting app, a spreadsheet, or a notebook. For a whole month, log every coffee, every online purchase, every bill payment. You might be surprised by where your money is actually going. This exercise is about awareness. Budgeting apps can automate this process by connecting to your bank accounts. Categorize your expenses to get a clearer picture of your spending habits. Are you spending most of your money on housing, transportation, or daily lattes? Knowledge is power. Analyze your spending patterns after a month. Are there areas where you can cut back? Any unnecessary subscriptions to cancel? Small changes can make a big difference. Take control of your finances. By understanding your income and expenses, you're laying the groundwork for a rock-solid financial future. Now that you have a clear picture of your cash flow, it's time to prioritize your spending. Think of it like this. You wouldn't go grocery shopping on an empty stomach, right? You'd prioritize eating a nourishing meal first. Same goes for your budget. We need to make sure your essential needs are covered before allocating funds to anything else. These essentials typically include housing, utilities, groceries, transportation, and debt payments. These are the non-negotiables, the things you absolutely need to live and function. Once you've accounted for your essential expenses, you can start looking at your wants. And this is where things get interesting. We all have wants. That new gadget, a weekend getaway, those designer shoes. But are they truly serving us? This is where the concept of needs versus wants comes into play. It's about being mindful of your spending and making conscious choices that align with your financial goals. It's not about deprivation, it's about prioritization. For example, let's say you're working towards buying your dream home. That daily $5 latte might seem insignificant, but over a month, that's $150. Imagine redirecting that money towards your down payment fund. Small sacrifices can lead to big rewards. Remember, prioritizing your spending isn't about restricting yourself. It's about aligning your spending with your values and goals. It's about making sure your money is working as hard for you as you are. Imagine this. Your car breaks down, you face an unexpected medical bill, or maybe you lose your job. Life throws curveballs. That's where your bulletproof shield comes in, your emergency fund. It's your financial safety net and peace of mind. Ideally, your emergency fund should have three to six months worth of living expenses. Start small. Even $50 or $100 a month helps. Automate your savings. Set up automatic transfers from your checking to your savings account each month. Building an emergency fund takes time and discipline, but it's crucial to bulletproof your finances. Now that we've tackled the essentials and built our financial safety net, it's time to take a closer look at our spending habits and see where we can trim the fat. This is where we get granular, my friends. Remember that detailed expense tracking we did in step one? Now's the time to analyze it with a critical eye. Are there any recurring subscriptions you're not using? Do you really need that premium streaming service? Think about your daily habits. That daily latte might seem harmless, but it adds up. Could you make coffee at home a few times a week instead? Small changes in your daily routine can make a big difference in your budget. Dining out is another area where we often overspend. Challenge yourself to cook at home more often. Not only is it healthier for your wallet, but it's also a great way to improve your cooking skills. And let's not forget about impulse purchases. We've all been there, scrolling through social media and getting sucked into those targeted ads. Before you hit that buy now button, ask yourself if you really need it. 
Remember, cutting unnecessary expenses isn't about depriving yourself. It's about being mindful of your spending and making conscious choices that align with your financial goals. It's about freeing up more money to invest in the things that truly matter to you. Conquer your debt. Strategies for debt repayment. Debt can feel like a heavy weight holding you back from achieving your financial goals, but fear not my friends because we're going to tackle it head-on with proven strategies for debt repayment. First, make a list of all your debts, including the balances, interest rates, and minimum payments. This will give you a clear picture of what you're dealing with. Next, we need to choose a debt repayment strategy. Two popular methods are the snowball method and the avalanche method. The snowball method focuses on paying off the smallest debts first, regardless of interest rates, to build momentum and motivation. The avalanche method, on the other hand, prioritizes paying Paying off debts with the highest interest rates first, which can save you money in the long run. Choose the method that resonates most with you and fits your financial situation. Once you've chosen your strategy, it's time to get to work. Allocate as much money as you can towards your debt payments each month, even if it's just a little extra. Every dollar counts. Consider negotiating with your creditors for lower interest rates or exploring debt consolidation options. Don't be afraid to ask for help, there are resources available to assist you on your debt-free journey. Remember, conquering your debt takes time, discipline, and a solid plan. But the feeling of freedom and financial security that comes with being debt-free is priceless. Make it automatic. The power of automated savings. We're creatures of habit and when it comes to saving money, automation is our best friend. It takes the guesswork out of saving and ensures that we're consistently working towards our financial goals. Remember that emergency fund we talked about? Well, automation is key to building it up steadily. Set up an automatic transfer from your checking account to your savings account each month. Out of sight, out of mind, and into your savings. But it doesn't stop there. You can automate your savings for other financial goals as well, such as investing, retirement, or even a down payment on a house. The key is to make it a habit. Many banks and financial institutions offer automatic savings features. You can set up recurring transfers on specific dates, or even round up your purchases to the nearest dollar and transfer the difference to your savings account. The beauty of automation is that it takes the emotion out of saving. You don't have to think about it or make a conscious effort each month, it just happens automatically. It's like having a personal finance assistant working for you 24-7. Remember, automating your savings is one of the easiest and most effective ways to achieve your financial goals. It's about making saving a non-negotiable part of your financial routine. Stay flexible, review, and adjust your budget regularly. Congratulations, you've made it to the final step of creating your bulletproof budget. But remember, this isn't a set it and forget it kind of deal. Life is constantly changing and your budget needs to be flexible enough to adapt. Aim to review your budget at least once a month or quarterly if that feels less overwhelming. This allows you to track your progress, identify any areas where you might be overspending and make adjustments as needed. Think of it like fine tuning a high performance engine. You wouldn't just drive it without ever checking the oil or tire pressure, would you? Your budget deserves the same level of care and attention. During your budget review, compare your actual spending to your planned budget. Are there any significant discrepancies? If so, investigate why. Did you underestimate your grocery expenses? Did an unexpected expense pop up? Don't be afraid to make changes to your budget as your circumstances evolve. Did you get a raise? Awesome! Consider increasing your savings rate or allocating more money towards your investments. Remember, your budget is a living document. It should evolve and adapt alongside your financial journey. By regularly reviewing and adjusting it, you ensure that it remains relevant and effective in helping you achieve your financial goals. And there you have it, the seven simple steps to create a bulletproof budget. Remember, it all starts with knowing your numbers, prioritizing your spending, and building that essential emergency fund. Then, we cut unnecessary expenses, conquer our debt, and automate our savings like the financial rock stars we are. Don't forget to review and adjust your budget regularly to keep it aligned with your goals. This isn't about restriction, it's about empowerment. It's about taking control of your finances so you can live life on your own terms. Now I want to hear from you. What are your best budget tips? Share your success stories in the comments below and don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video with anyone who's ready to bulletproof their finances. Oh, and stay tuned for next week's video, where we'll be discussing how to make bulletproof coffee for financial clarity. Until next time, stay financially savvy.